number six, fires are strength givers. You know, the fire has heat. And if you remember that the strength of the ego many times is connected when they are weak, they sit upon the rock and look at the sun and connect their strength. If you remember lizards and reptiles in the morning, they are unable to move until they receive the heat of the sun. And they get the strength to move. When you, when you are a flaming fire, you are a source of strength. Spiritual strength, supernatural strength. That is, you have strength yourself. And then you offer strength to your generation. You offer strength to your generation. You offer supernatural strength to your generation. Weak people who come into contact with you, they receive strength. Fires are strength givers. Number seven, fires are life cleansers. Fire cleans, it cleanses. In the medical world and in laboratories, you put instruments into fire sources like the autoclave machines where things are boiled and heated, then you can sterilize surgical equipments and make them ready. You cleanse them from bacteria, viruses, and so on. Fires are cleansers. The impurities inside gold, they are cleansed through fire. Fires are cleansers. Fishes in, in Africa, we make them, we preserve them from rottenness and decadence by the fire. Fires are cleansers. What does that mean? When you are a flaming fire, when people come around you, you are just their character. People who hang around you are adjusted in lifestyle. Hear what the young man just said now from the gallery. Something about you want to make people change their lives. Something about you want to make people live correctly. Something about you. Your character reproves their, rebukes their compromise. Something about you makes people want to be better. When they come close to you, they are adjusted in lifestyle, adjusted in character. Their compromises are exposed by your character and then it can be adjusted. Am I communicating at all? One young man told me, he said, in his course of business and course of things, he wants to enter a transaction and he said, supposing your father in the Lord is watching you or is aware of what you are, the kind of business you are about to do, will you still do it? And then he will just step out and say, no way, I can't, I can't commit, I can't do this kind of business. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Your life is meant to be a cleanser, a, 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 a reprover for your generation as a, a flaming fire. Fires number eight are restoration agents. Agents of restoration. When something is missing and you bring in light, which is a department of fire, you can locate them. Fires are restoration agents. Something that was not available can be made available. Now, when you are a flaming fire, when people see your life, they can see what is missing in their own lives. And then they can, they can find them. When they see your ministry, when they see your operation, they can see what is missing in their own life. They are brought to a realization. And that realization can take them to a restoration. Am I communicating at all? You are not doing it. You are not deliberately doing something. People are just hanging around you. And you say, okay, oh, I, I could have a better mar marital life. I could have a better family life. Oh, it's possible for things to work like this. It's possible for things to work like this. Okay, this is where I have been missing it. A young man sent me a message from the United Kingdom. And he said that he has done everything he could do, but the church is not growing. And he doesn't know what to do anymore. He's watching the, the conference right now. And I was preaching on my own on the multitudes revival. You remember that on Wednesday night? The multitudes revival. And he sent a message and he told me, he said, 
He said every question he had was answered. He doesn't have any question anymore. He knows what to do to move the church from where the church is to where the church needs to go. Am I communicating? How many of you got answers like that as well? I prophesy to somebody here. Your life is shifting to the next level. It's shifting to the next level. It's shifting to the next level. Shout the loudest. Amen.